Wildlife Refuge in partnership with the City of Brownsville. Today what we're going to be doing is DIY bird feeders. Alright guys, so the materials that you're going to need for this build are going to be very simple. All we're going to need is some 550 cord, something for the birds to perch on. I have sticks right here that are going to work just fine, doesn't matter if they're a little bamboo, we'll make it work. And uh, now you're going to need something to, to put the bird seed in. This is going to be the actual feeder. So this is just a gallon of water, so you can use anything you have on hand. I prefer these, maybe a 3 liter bottle might work better for you. Um, and then of course, bird seed to put in at the end. Alright guys, so let's get started. Alright, so the tools that we're going to be needing, Sharpie and something sharp. We have scissors handsaw, and a box cutter. So honestly, anything that's gonna make a cut, I prefer to use scissors to stay on the safe side. Once you make your initial cut, go ahead and follow through with the scissors just to be cautious. All right, so the concept for this bird feeder is gonna be very simple, guys. You're gonna need areas where you're gonna hang the 550 cord from, and then you're gonna need areas where the birds are gonna be able to have the seat exposed and where they're gonna perch. So, you're going to want to make your first markings somewhere near the top in the identical areas on the opposite side. There you go. That's exactly where the 550 cord is going to be going through, hanging from the tree. Now we need the areas that the seeds are going to be exposed. So these can be any size you want. Small squares, big squares, small rectangles, big triangles, big circles. Honestly, it's up to you. This is your feeder, get creative. I'm doing rectangles just for easy purpose. There we go. Now, we're gonna need a place where those sticks are gonna be going through. So this one's a little bit important. On this gallon, it has a line that follows all the way around. So that's exactly where I'm gonna put those sticks so everything is aligned. Now I'm gonna put two sticks, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna have four circles. All right, there we go. So now that everything's pre-marked, let's go ahead and make our cuts. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is make my cuts and all I'm gonna do is start with the box cutter just to get me going on every single one of my markings. All right, so now we're gonna finish our cuts with a pair of scissors. So. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is put everything together. We're going to start from the bottom up, grab one of your twigs, and put it through. So you can notice that it was a little bit difficult to get them through, but if you continue at it, I guarantee you it's gonna work just fine. So there you have it. You have our base set up right here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the bird seed. Now if you have a funnel, that'd be great. If you don't, a piece of paper would work perfect. So now we pour our seed. Perfect. All right, so 
now that we're there, we're gonna go ahead and put our 550 cord through the top holes. All right, so now that you have it through, you're gonna make a knot. Be mindful as to where you're gonna hang it. Have a plan. The last thing you wanna do is make it to where you can't even reach your own bird feed to refill it. So I know exactly where I'm gonna hang it about. It's gonna be maybe five feet off the ground. I want it to be a little high. You're gonna make your cut on your 550 cord and make a knot. Now, this doesn't have to be fancy, guys, but just remember it is gonna be outdoors. It is gonna be in the elements, in the wind. One of my favorite knots, that's one, two, three, and four. That ain't gonna go nowhere. All right, so there you have it. So, for our second DIY bird feeder, it's going to be very simple, a little bit easier than the first one. All we're going to be using is uh, paper towel rolls. So, pretty much the same concept, a little bit different. We're still using paper towel rolls, we're still using the stick, 550 cord. This time we're adding in some peanut butter, and the same thing, good old bird seed. Now, the tools that you're going to be needing, instead of getting your hands dirty, just go to get a spoon, butter knife, whatever you got. Sharpie to make your marks, and scissors to go ahead and make that initial cut. All right guys, let's get going. So the first thing you wanna do is make your marks. Now you're gonna make them towards the bottom, not too low. These are gonna be the markings where the 550 cord is gonna be hanging through. So you want them to be more or less lined up, okay? Now you're gonna make marks on the opposite end. This is where the sticks are gonna go in, so you want it a little bit higher and a little bit bigger, okay? We're gonna be putting two sticks, so we're gonna need four markings. Now for easy entry of the sticks, go ahead and have them a little offset, not so much lined up. Now let's get to cutting. All right, so we're gonna make our cuts using scissors. Just go ahead and give it a few turns. So now that our cuts are made, we're gonna go ahead and make sure our sticks are gonna fit perfectly into those holes. So go ahead and run them through. All right, there we have it. We know they fit, now let's get a little messy. All right guys, so now we're gonna get our 550 cord cut a decent sized piece. It really just depends on where you're hanging it. Run it through. Tie your knot. All right, that ain't going nowhere. Now, we're gonna coat it in peanut butter. All right, so with your spoon, go ahead and grab yourself a good old dollop of peanut butter and give it a nice coating. Now we're gonna roll it in birdseed. Almost done guys, now we're gonna go ahead and run the sticks through a final time. And there you have it, bird feeder using toilet paper roll, let's go give it a hang and see what birds we attract. 